Hello guys. Today we'll be covering a 2011 French-Romanian film called My Little Princess. The film is set in Paris in the 1970s. The plot follows Violetta Gheorghiu, a 10-year-old girl. She lives with her deeply religious grandmother, whom she calls Mammy. Her mother, Hannah, who describes herself as an artist, often lives away from home and pays visits to them on occasion. They lead a rough life because Hannah does not have a stable job and her grandmother is too old to work. Hannah does mostly crummy paintings. She has a friend named Ernst, who's also a painter. Occasionally, Ernst encourages Hannah by buying her artwork. Once he gifts a camera to her and after that, Hannah becomes fantasizing about being a photographer. Mammy objects to her photography fantasy, claiming that she needs a steady source of income. But Hannah ignores her because art is her passion. Due to this, they frequently argue about it, which usually ends with Mammy praying and Hannah exiting the apartment. One day, Violetta is walking home from school. On the way, she runs unexpectedly into Hannah, who invites her to join her at the studio. Violetta gladly accepts, seeing this as an opportunity to spend more time with her mother. Hannah, on the other hand, has a different plan. She sees her daughters having the potential to become a model. She asks if she can pose for her, and the daughter agrees. Violetta enjoys posing for pictures because it makes Hannah happy. Later, before they part, Hannah tells her to keep it a secret from Mammy. The next day, Violetta is ridiculed by her classmates as she mimics different poses she learned from her mom. After class, Hannah makes her change a dress in public and takes her to Ernst's. He compliments her on her latest works and even buys some of the photographs. While the adults are indulged in drinking and flirting, Violetta smears one of Ernst's paintings with black paint. She doesn't express it, but she's annoyed with her mom. She wants to know what her and Ernst's relationship is. However, Hannah soon reveals to her that she cannot be in a relationship because she is a physiophobe. As time goes on, Hannah specializes in erotic photography. Two models, Nadia and Fifi, work for her besides her own daughter. She often makes Violetta pose for far more mature poses than her age. And soon, her pictures start getting famous. Due to this, mom and daughter spend a lot of time working together. While on the other hand, Violetta begins to be alienated in school. Mammy is concerned about Violetta, but there's nothing she can do. One day, she visits Hannah's sanctuary and becomes horrified by its condition. She then sprays holy water to ward off the evil causing all this. Later, Violetta comes home and finds Mammy terrified. She tries to talk with her, but Mammy doesn't respond to her questions. Not knowing what's going on, she then leaves her be and begins dancing. After a while, when Hannah comes home, she shouts at Mammy for intruding on her space. When Mammy tries to chastise her, Hannah calls her backward and says she doesn't understand her. Just then, Violetta naively steps in and stops her mom from being aggressive. Following that, Hannah takes Nadia, Fifi and Violetta to a party where she meets a variety of people involved in the arts. Some of them are gallery owners, journal editors and so on. She introduces herself as a photographer and shows them her works. Hannah expects to create a link and connect with more people as her goal is to become famous. Violetta continues to pose for her mom. But as time passes, Hannah begins to exploit the young girl. She makes her pose inappropriately, overworks her, and denies her food and rest if she refuses to work. On the flip side, Violetta's daring postures draw a lot of attention, and everyone praises Hannah for her amazing work, which she labels as literary erotica. As a result, Violetta begins acting like an adult before she's even an adolescent. For instance, she flirts with an interviewer, which Hannah is pleased about. Gradually, they earn money along with popularity. Hannah is relieved that she can pay Ernst for his trust and help while she's struggling. However, she gets heartbroken when she discovers he's secretly involved with one of her models. However, Violetta thinks her mom is acting unreasonably since he isn't even her lover. At school, Violetta is constantly mocked and harassed by her classmates. Even though she has no clue of why she's being bullied, she defends herself by claiming what she does is art and often engages in fights. After some time, Hannah takes Violetta on a trip to England. There, they arrive at Mr. Updike's cottage, who is a punky-looking rich guy. Knowing that they're there for a photo shoot, Violetta becomes upset. The next day, she becomes enraged when her mother orders her to pose naked with the guy. But Violetta makes it very clear that she's not posing anymore. Hannah is worried that she might lose a big money because of her daughter's disobedience. Then they get into an argument. Violetta accuses her mother of using her for attention, while Hannah claims that she does everything because she loves her. Back in Paris, Violetta is still alienated from other kids. She's scolded by teachers and punished for wearing inappropriate dresses to school. 
She faces mean comments every day and comes home from school full of odd questions. Soon she comes to realize the consequences of her popularity. As a result, she decides to stop modeling for her mother since she believes it's harming her. Hannah, on the other hand, is relentless and keeps pursuing her. Next, Violetta deliberately starts creating distance between her and her mom, as the latter keeps trying to invade her privacy. Her patience is tested when Hannah takes a picture of her while she's in the bathroom. After this incident, she stops talking to her. But after a few days, Violetta receives a letter from her mom hoping for reconciliation. Infuriated, she tears the letter and throws it away. Outside, Hannah expects to make amends, but Violetta runs away, ignoring her. In the next scene, Hannah tries to make up for her mistakes by gifting her a new dress, but Violetta just throws it on the ground as Antoine chases after her. Antoine is an editor of a renowned journal. When he finally catches her, he asks why she's acting like that. In response, Violetta claims her mother is to blame for everything. Antoine tries to persuade her of her mother's love, but Violetta is too stubborn to change her mind and tries to avoid her mother as much as possible. Soon after, she reaches home and immediately locks the door. Then she seeks help from Mammy, but she says she's tired and cannot do anything. Moments later, Hannah arrives and knocks on the door, pleading with her to open it. But both grandmother and granddaughter remain silent till Hannah gets tired and goes away. Later that night, when Violetta visits Hannah, she sees a new model posing for her. Realizing her mom no longer pays attention to her, she starts getting jealous. Grabbing the right opportunity, Hannah proposes that she resume modeling. Desperate to get her mother's validation, the poor child agrees to model once again. On a Sunday, Violetta goes to her friend's house to play. The friend's mother shows her a magazine with a photo of her, with a commentary on it. Seeing that, Violetta feels ashamed, so she excuses herself and departs. When she gets home, she finds her mother sitting at Mammy's side. However, she doesn't talk, she just stares at her silently and runs off. Eventually, when they catch up, Violetta confronts her about the picture published in the journal. Still, Hannah believes she should be thankful to her mother for making her famous. Also, she says she should not mind the bullies in school because they'll move on and forget about her soon. These events have traumatized her as Violetta says she wants to die, since her mother does not love nor understand her. But eventually, they reconcile and return home. However, on their way home, they're shocked to find Mammy dead on the road. Mourning her death came second, because first, they remove all of her stuff and give back the room. Now, Violetta is forced to move in with Hannah, which drastically alters her lifestyle. One day, Hannah gets a notice from the court that says they want Violetta's custody rights because there are multiple pleas against her. However, Hannah is more concerned about her photos being taken away than she is about her daughter. Then she goes to her friend Ernst for help, and he promises to help her. He tells her to hide the negatives so that they can be developed later. He also advises her to talk to Violetta to smooth things out a bit. Following that, Hannah and Violetta are interrogated by a social worker who's in charge of the investigation. She says Hannah cannot photograph her daughter until she's an adult. Also, she makes it clear that the child should be allowed to live as a normal child. Looking at the state of the apartment, she pities them and promises to get them on welfare if they're struggling financially. Finally, she tells Violetta to keep going to school and Hannah to make the place kid-friendly. Although she's banned, Hannah sells Violetta's remaining photographs to sustain herself. On the other hand, Violetta tries to find her photos to destroy, but everything has been sold. She's enraged and tells her mother that she's dead to her. In the middle of the night, Hannah wakes the girl up and talks about resuming their work once everything returns to normal. However, Violetta suddenly gets up and acts like a maniac. Confused, Hannah tries to calm her down, but she gets more violent. The next day, Violetta goes to the social worker and asks why they don't confiscate all of her mother's photos and destroy them. The woman reveals she's not authorized for it and only a judge can do that. Realizing she can't get help from there, Violetta leaves. Later, when asked if she can stop selling the pictures, Hannah replies that she's an artist with a right to free expression. As the days go by, the mother-daughter relationship keeps worsening. One day, Violetta steals a lady's purse and ends up in a juvenile facility. There, she lives with other girls who are abused by their parents. Sometime later, Hannah goes to see Violetta. When she hears her mother has come for her, Violetta jumps out of the window and runs away. Hannah calls after her, but she continues to run away, showing that she'll do anything to get away from her mother. And the movie ends.